What's up guys, Simplistic here, back with another video. If you couldn't tell from the title, it is a special type of video. It is a Delta 8 video and a plug and play video. I figured I'd do some blinkers off of some Delta 8 THC and also some Delta 9 THC, what we all know and love. But in the ter in terms of uh, Delta 9, we're gonna be talking about plug and play. Good old plug and play with that Syndicate OG. Shout out to plug and play once again. and. We are going to be hitting my Delta 8 cartridge from Delta 8 Hemp. You know, I saved a good amount of this. You know, I've made that video two weeks ago, but I've been meaning to save this just because if that tolerance, cross tolerance thing or whatever, if tolerance from Delta 9 doesn't carry over to Delta 8, I definitely will be keeping this cartridge just to be hitting on some days, you know what I'm saying? Uh, but uh, it is right here. Let's get a thumbnail. Um, thumbnail. Of the stuff and I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to hit both at the same time but we are gonna make it work if not I'll just take a blinker out of both you know not at the same time but off both but yes we will be taking hits off these this isn't the first time I'm smoking today, but this is going to be the first time I'm smoking fat today, so... Oh, God. Cheers. Alright, we're going to see if this light... Honestly, that kind of blended well together because this is piney, this is lemony, well this is lemony. So honestly it just kind of mixed together to make like a very lemony piney hit. But all, all the pretty much enjoyable, I'm not coughing that much, the sensation to cough isn't as, as prominent as it usually is, which is crazy. Maybe the Delta 8 fucking uh, helps soothe it, I don't know. I've been told not to take blinkers off the Delta 8, but I've been told not to take blinkers off of any cartridge or pod, so like, what? who knows, you know? At the end of the day, we're getting high off some good old Delta 9 and some good old Delta 8, and a uh, shout out to both companies for just being dope. As you can see from that first blinker of both, uh, I'll probably be not doing that again, maybe towards the end of this session video, but uh, yeah, I just wanted to do like a lightweight sesh with both because Delta 8's been, I would say, one of the more popular cannabinoids lately, you know, as of right now, like, people are talking about this. I've seen it everywhere. And this is like when CBD came out, you know, you just CBD this, CBD that. I'm glad that I finally was able to try my own. And uh, before you just get into Delta 8, do your research, you know, find if it's for you. And if you're in illegal states where they don't have you know, Delta 9 cannabis products, uh, yeah, consider Delta 8 because it's, it's really just a really good alternative for the people that are less fortunate to not have, you know, real, or not real, I wouldn't say real, because th this is real too, but like, you know, legit cannabis, uh, legit Delta 9 cannabis products. But yeah, let's take a blinker of this, Syndicate OG, cheers guys. I know that there are some products that, some Delta 8 products that are cannabis derived terpenes. Uh, I definitely want to try one of those myself one day, but the one I have is not, uh, I believe they're botanical terpenes. Uh, P2P made a video just, uh, talking about some of that stuff. But basically, this is what it comes from, like lemons and you know other fruits and stuff, instead of just the cannabis strain. But there are Delta 8 products that are cannabis derived terpenes. And they probably taste like raw garden. And this, I'm saying this probably because I haven't tried one. Uh, but in the future, I definitely will try one. <coughs> <coughs> Gotta relax. 
give me like two minutes, I'll take a picture off this. And then uh, we're probably gonna chill for the rest of the video and then towards the end, take a blinker off both of them at the same time once again, just to get send me off throughout the day, you know? So uh, right now it's about 12.53. I still haven't eaten yet, so I'm planning on getting super faded off this video. You know, kill two birds with one stone and uh, then eat afterwards. And then uh, probably get some editing done with probably this video. And uh, yeah. Hopefully you've been enjoying the content lately guys. Uh, I've been working my butt off to provide you content at least five times a week and uh, I hope you guys appreciate that and you know I do love this you know this passion here is not gonna end soon like not until I'm dead so uh, I hope you do enjoy what I put out for you guys and you know subscribe to my homies as well uh, mainly RJ Eats because you know he's the only one that's uploading I wouldn't say consistently, but more frequently than Stevie. So, uh, but yeah, support, support my homie, you know what I'm saying? It, it's dope seeing his numbers go up as well. You know, I want to get him to a thousand so you can get that monetization, like that thing that you can enable. And I, this is just my uh, like assumption. I don't know if it's true or not, but it's happened on my previous channels and uh, like once I hit a thousand, it like just consistently, like exponentially went up uh, on my second channel uh, specifically. And uh, I think it's because YouTube is just like, oh, this channel is monetized now, so let's push it out more. I don't know. That's that's just me thinking some weird shit. But you know, YouTube is a business, and a business needs to make money. And if you ain't making them money, you know what I'm saying? Why would they fucking push your shit out, right? That makes sense from a business standpoint, but I don't know if it's true or not, but cheers. Oh yeah, that's smooth. I believe someone said that this was like harsh or whatever, but it's actually not, you know, it just depends on how big of a hit you take. I mean, I took a blinker and it wasn't even harsh at, in any way, you know? Um, so, I don't know. I guess it's just different for everyone. Honestly, it's been pretty smooth, the experience when it comes to these uh, Delta 8 products, the disposable one and the cartridge. But yeah, man, just a quick session with you guys. I wanted to do more videos with the Delta 8 because I know a lot of people have been asking a lot of questions about it. It's actually a hot topic on YouTube right now, so I figured, you know, let's make some more of these videos and sesh while we're at it. But yeah, just do your research with Delta 8. I know there's a lot of good brands out there. This one, Delta 8 Hemp, and then we got uh, 3 Chai, and then uh, I believe Rogue River from P2 Peeps. Just, just do your research and, and find the one that's best for you. And they're all pretty. Uh, pretty well priced I would say you know so let me know if you've tried the new syndicate OG I've been really really fucking with it this is actually my second one right now I went through the other one pretty quick uh, but uh, yeah man syndicate OG uh, I do have the bubbler I can't hit it off the bubbler no I can just do it two fingers that's enough that's enough of this video like oh, I'm already feeling it like I don't know what you do what happens when you mix delta 8 and delta 9 um, but I'm definitely feeling super faded right now. This one's gonna be the end of all ends right here. And uh, yeah, I just appreciate the fuck out of you guys. Oh yeah, fucking thing gave me fucking socks and shit. I'd be wearing it. I'm not used to long socks, so it's something I have to get used to. But they're dope. Yeah. Oh yeah. Cheers, guys. Let's see if I can do this again. <laughs> I don't do it. <coughs> oh. Oh. I don't think I can do it. But I will finish it off with the bubbler here, I guess. <coughs> Put the damn cap on. Alright, this is gonna be the last hit of this session, guys. Hopefully you enjoyed the video. I'm fucking dying from that. I couldn't even finish that shit.
I'm sad. Cheers, Ed. Yeah, I'm gonna go code in a new club. Yeah, I'm hot rock, I'm sending two of them.